and pole, women's state of origin. Game one, and let the series begin. The Elliott, lovely pass. Caitlin Johnston breaks free, gets a pass away, backing up Tonegato. What a try, New South Wales. Jamie Chapman, what a sight in full flight, has scored one of the best individual tries we have seen in any origin. Mentalman, Upton, throws a dummy, can she get there? Queensland are on the boards. Higgins. Johnston on the charge, gets there! The Blues take Origin 1. Oh, the countdown is on to Women's State of Origin as well. Thursday night, we cannot wait for this at McDonald Jones Stadium. It is a sellout as well. There's going to be an almighty crowd at McDonald Jones Stadium and two people who I'm sure are very excited about this. Yasmin Clydesdale and Caitlin Johnston join us live now from Homebush. Ladies, you're heading up to Newcastle today. You're obviously heading into Game 2 uh, with one win under your belt. How are you feeling heading in with, uh, with the upper hand? Yeah, I think um, the excitement surrounding the team and I think um, especially for us Novocastrian girls, it's really exciting. Um, you know, it's a select crowd up there, so, you know, they always turn up for a, for a game of footy. Caitlin, what was it like scoring the try at Suncorp? Oh, it was amazing. Um, <laughs> it felt good to score it in front of a um, home-packed crowd of Queenslanders. So, um, yeah, I loved every moment of it. Yasmin, uh, you guys had a great first up performance, unchanged lineup for this game, whereas the Queenslanders, they've made several changes. Most importantly, Ali Brigginshaw has mm -hmm. gone from 13 to 7. Where do you see the changes for the Maroons and, and the way they're going to play for game two? Um, I think um, Kylie's really just focused on us um, leading into this camp and then just, yeah, we're not really focusing on what Queensland are doing, just focusing on what New South, or what the Sky Blues can do into game two. Caitlin, local girl, or you're both local girls, but Caitlin, you're from Belmont. Um, what's a be Belmont in front row is Paul Harrigan's from Belmont. Mm. Playing a, a state of origin <laughs> in your own backyard. That must be incredible. Oh, it's amazing. I think, yeah, it is. I think um, it's been a long time coming for us females in the game, and um, no doubt they turn up every day. Um, we play, well, every time we play Newcastle for the night. So yeah. um, I'm excited to see the crowd, and um, you know, we've, we've, Definitely made another milestone with a sellout crowd, so I'm definitely excited and I know everyone else is. Talk about milestones. Uh, the game at Suncorp Stadium uh, was a record crowd at the time. I've got to say, I watched it, it was in enthralling. It was incredible. You did an awesome job. Uh, but then to hear the next day mm. how many people watched it on TV, how does that make you feel? Yeah, like ecstatic. I think, um, yeah, just the visibility of having the women's game on um, free-to-air TV on Channel 9 um, was super special, and I think um, it's only going to get bigger from here. What do you think the feeling's going to be like when you're running out? Obviously, it's such a... Running out onto Suncorp Stadium is such an uh, amazing feeling, but at home, McDonald Jones Stadium, and one that will be packed to the absolute brim, what do you think that that feeling's going to be like for, for yourselves? <laughs> Oh, I think it'll be amazing. Um, you know, I think having New South Wales supporters in the crowd is the most amazing feeling you could actually feel in a game. So, um, I know being home and having that crowd packed, um, you know, stadium is going to be amazing for us girls. And I know um, from experience of like the Queenslanders up in Suncorp, it was it was quite intimidating, but I, I guess it put that bit of fire in our belly. And I think um, yeah. yeah, being home and having that crowd is going to be amazing. Given your local girls, what was the ticket demand like? <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen um, CJ put a Facebook post up for all her family and friends, if you haven't bought a ticket, it's too late to stop asking her. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, I'm, I'm the only Queenslander on the, uh, on the desk here. I'm trying to get insights for the Maroons. Are you going to play the power game again like you did in, in game one? we just seen some vision of Jamie Chapman scoring that try, 70 metre run. Is it a power game? Is that the way you're going to approach it? I don't know. I think we're just yeah, focusing on us and just backing each other. Um, I think the power game to us comes quite natural. Um, so probably we might fall back into that. But again, we're just focusing on our job and yeah, what we need to do. I read something in the paper today, Yasmin. You are talking about <laughs> uh, the things you have to sacrifice. And you said time with your husband, Adam, who was actually an NRL mm. player for the Knights. <laughs> what are some other things um, that you have to sacrifice being a female athlete? 
Um, definitely like my job, um, I've had to go from a full-time capacity down to a casual capacity. So not seeing my kids as much and yeah, definitely the time with my husband. Um, he's so great though, so I'm really lucky to have the support from him. So yeah, just those little sacrifices, I think, while I'm playing NRLW. Um, it's good, yeah, it goes a long way, but again, football careers are quite short. So yeah, just trying to live in the moment and enjoy it. Well, we cannot wait to see you guys in action on Thursday night. Good luck and, uh, and enjoy the next few days as well.